Okay, so today I tested this uh, plasma disc at uh, 30,000 volts. Uh, the only thing that I got was uh, lights, flashing lights going all the way around the sides. This was a uh, plasma leakage. Uh, that's what I would expect. I would expect the plasma to leak along the edges of the disc and it caused the flashing lights effect so it looked like little lights going around it but it was too dim to really notice i couldn't see very well myself only seeing very, at a very close distance so what the problem is is this electrode is still too far away uh as the current as the electricity is flowing from one electrode to the other the of course the voltage drops so by making a small uh, a larger uh, disc on the bottom it would allow more current flow from electrode to electrode uh, increasing the current flow that's what I, that's what I'm going to want I want more current flow coming off the top more like a uh, I want I, I basically want the whole top area to slightly glow and then definitely wanting the flashing the flashing uh, plasma along the edges uh, so I'm, I'm testing this at 30,000 30,000 volts and I, I ordered for another power supply that can uh, do a 400 watts at 60,000 volts but right now uh, very small power supply so I'm testing out a very tiny tiny disc uh, my next models are going is going one's going to be this one the stainless steel and the other is going to be the regular steel plate. Uh, this one, you can kind of see what's going on. There's going to be an electrode on the bottom. I actually cut this off of a globe. My my kids my kids actually had one of those Mars globes, and uh, they decided that they didn't want it. So instead of throwing it in the garbage, I decided to just cut it in pieces and actually use it for the discs which that will work very well for pasting the bottom electrode too. These things are quite heavy. Uh, all in all, they're going to be a, about a pound a piece, and I'm not going to be expecting much or if any lift out of these, uh, really. Uh, but there's uh, quite a bit of space for putting an electromagnet and stuff, so you could expect to see uh, quite a bit of lift. Definitely, these things have to be really light in order for me to actually get them to lift. But uh, for right now, uh, it, it, it was doing pretty fine. Uh, got plasma flowing through this. So that was the first good sign. Definitely the next step is actually getting uh, the electromagnet inside and actually pulling, pulling on the plasma. We don't got enough plasma flow to actually pull on yet. So definitely need to increase, increasing, uh, the tests need to increase the plasma before I'll shove an electromagnet in, really bump the tests up. Yep, that's it for today.